Hey everybody, Military Surplus Carbine Collector, um, doing a, a, an unboxing of my uh, 1916 Spanish Mauser uh, from Hunter's Lodge. Um, I just got it uh, yesterday. Uh, took six weeks to get here. Uh, and uh, it, it's, in, it's in pretty good shape on the outside. Um, I've seen a lot of videos uh, from uh, unboxing videos from Hunter's Lodge uh, for other uh, surplus collectors like Readiness Review, uh, The Wolf Hunter, and The Casual Collector, and people, other people on uh, YouTube. And uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. So anyway, I, uh, I went to... Uh, to uh, Firearms News, which I get, and I looked at the uh, Hunter's Lodge ad. I've been seeing their ads for years and uh, never thought much of it. And uh, anyway, they had these Spanish Mausers uh, for $123 and plus shipping and stuff. And uh, so um, I got a hold of them, called them up, and they told me, well, write out what you want on a piece of paper and the shipping is this price and their shipping is pretty high um, you know and then send in a copy of your FFL with that and anyway six weeks later uh, I got this uh, don't be in a hurry with them over there uh, they do take their time but you know um, for, for really a really a very old surplus gun this one is in really in good shape I can't believe it um, it does have a cracked stock, which I'll show you later, right here, but I can fix that. And um, anyway, I'll get some close-ups of it, and on um, both sides of it, and uh, the bolt. The bolt's a bit rusty. Um, that's going to take some work. Uh, it wasn't in the rifle, This, you know, and uh, the floor plate wasn't there, so they threw in the parts for the floor plate. All the parts were here. Um, I've got to do some work and get this bolt working in there. Um, there is a little bit of rust uh, down here, along here, but that's okay. I'll get it all. Um, this is a good project rifle for me. Uh, it's going to be some fun. It's going to be some steel wool and oil and some rust remover here and there. And uh, so that's part one of this video. Um, and part two will be uh, what I do with the stock and putting it back together and maybe shooting it and stuff. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get a close up and then we'll take it apart and uh, check out what's underneath the stock. Okay, here's a close up of the one side and I'll show you the other. Doesn't look too bad. Um, right underneath here, um, right underneath here is where the stock is cracked, right along here. I'll have to do some repairing there. Um, but all in all, the stock's okay. I do have to repair it. Uh, the bolt uh, is, is pretty rusty and pretty stiff. I've got to cock it. It looks like somebody was beating on it with a hammer here. Uh, where the serial number was, uh, which it doesn't match. Uh, the floor plate, they just threw in a floor plate. The, the number on the floor plate, it doesn't match. Um, I'll have to put that together and put that back in, but I think it's all there. Let me, uh, let me turn it around. Okay, here's the other side. Stock looks pretty good. It's just dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. And the other side. Okay, let's get it all torn down and take it apart and see what see what it looks like underneath there. Well, I've got it all taken apart here, and it's uh, gritty and grimy, but um, I think there's just a lot of you know, surface rust. Um, there's not really a lot of pitting at all. Uh, I haven't cleaned it up at all. 
I just took it apart and um, and that's it. I haven't cleaned it up. You can see a little little rust there on the on the site, but that'll all clean up. Um, there's a little more there's a little bit of rust inside the uh, receiver there. And uh, as far as the stock goes, uh, you remember the crack in the front of the stock? Well, <laughs> when I took it apart, that crack, the whole front part of the stock right here, just came right off. Let me uh, show you what I'm talking about here. Well, this is the front part of the stock. The back part's good. This front part here seems like it'll go back, but uh, I'm going to have to glue it, tape it, and uh, just wait and see see if it glues back. It's it's one shot, so. Well, here is my uh, stock repair. Um, came out all right, you know. Um, epoxied it back together, did a little uh, dowel, some oak dowel pins in there, and uh, um, I can I can make it look like brand new again. I think we'll see. Well, you you all saw the uh, condition of the stock uh, came back real nice. Uh, uh, that's going to be in part two. I'm going to um, sand this uh, front part down just a little bit. Uh, strip all the whole thing, uh, maybe bleach it or something. Um, we'll see. Um, I've got at least another day's, uh, at least another day to uh, work on this, just to take off some of that surface rust. Um, I don't think I'll need any parts. It all looks like everything's going to work. But over there at Hunter's Lodge, James says he has all the parts for all the rifles they sell. So, so that's good. Um, you want to see some more of my videos, check out up here in my latest video on my uh, Unreal Find and my M1 carbine that I found at the pawn shop. And uh, everybody hit that like and subscribe, thumbs up and all that, and that adds to the algorithms. And uh, we'll see you on part two. Thanks for tuning in.